afternoon and welcome to Boo Valley Today. I'm Sabir Rayford. And I'm Swetha Gandhi. Welcome to our annual Halloween show. At Lakewood Elementary last week, students got to combine charity and saw some great pumpkins. The students participated in the annual United Way pumpkin voting competition. Students voted to their favorite pumpkin by buying tickets and putting them in a can that was provided. The votes were tabulated and several lucky students got to take home their favorite pumpkin. Here's one of the students with more. Well, it's a lot of fun and everybody can participate, so it's really great. Well, and a lot of fundraisers, only the older kids really understand what's going on, but it's so much fun because even the little guys, they come in so excited with their money and they go and they can pick their own pumpkin that they really want. It's really great. Let's pass it over to Kendall to take a quick look at weather. Hey guys, we're here looking at the weather. It's currently about 63 degrees and sunny. The next few nights should be rather cold in the 30s. However, the days over the weekend should be nice and sunny and in the 60s. Heating up for a beautiful Halloween, which should be in the mid-60s and nice and sunny. Also with a beautiful night to go trick-or-treating in the upper 50s. The sunny weather should continue on to Tuesday. And on Wednesday should be our first chance of rain. Well, I can tell you that I'm super excited to go trick-or-treating. So what's the weather going to look like this weekend? It should be beautiful all weekend, nice and sunny, decently warm. And Halloween night should be amazing as well. Sounds great. Thanks, Kendall. You know, guys, a great way to celebrate Halloween is to make some really spooky treats. Let's go see what my mom has brewed up this year. Hey, guys, it's Tasty Treats again. Hi, parents out there. We're going to be doing the Halloween Betty Cupcakes today. And here's my ingredients today that we're going to be using, parents out there. And uh, what we're going to have today, parents, you're going to have the kids because I do have the scissors and a knife. So let's go over the ingredients, though. We have the snow caps, which we'll be using these little snow caps for the nose. And then we're going to have some M&Ms for the eyes. And that's going to be a nice thing for the kids to do. And then we just have the mints. And you can use any type of mints you want. We have the Yorks. And then we have just the regular flavor chocolate mints. Okay, parents, let's kind of go over the ingredients. We're going to have cupcakes today with chocolate with chocolate icing. You can use whatever flavor you like, but this is what we've chose today, chocolate with chocolate icing. So let's try to put this together today. All right, let me have you all watch me cut this. Parents, you're going to need to assist the kids with this because I'm using a knife, okay? So we're going to have the Yorkie mint right here, and I'm going to just cut this right in half. It's real simple. Just right, just like so, right down the middle. Okay, and then we're going to use these for our wings. So we're going to just put them right, oh, maybe halfway back. Just press them down. Don't be afraid. It's real easy. Then we're going to take another mint just like this. And we're just going to kind of cut it to the side and make some ears. Just kind of put a little slant right there on the side. Okay. And we're going to put these ears in just like so, parents. Just let the kids do this. This is really simple. The icing might start melting, but you can put it in the refrigerator. And it can kind of, you know, start getting cold for you and kind of chill. We're going to put those ears in there just like so. Okay, now we're going to make the eyes. So let's make some orange eyes today. Okay, because it's Happy Halloween. So let's just put that eye right there. Just like that, just like so, okay? Then we're gonna use the snow caps for the nose. And we're just gonna stick that right there. Now, parents, for the fangs and the mouth, I have some tubes of icing. It's real simple. You just buy it from over the counter in the stores, right back by the cupcakes and everything. It's real easy. And what you're gonna do is just let the kids push the tubes out. I'm gonna use white today and red for a little blood. So let's just do this just like this, just right around the nose. Just push it gently, just like so, just like that. Look at there. And then we're gonna just put some little red icing, but we're gonna use it for blood today. And we're just gonna just put a little fang there. It's like it's dripping in. And then another one. Just like that. Like it's dripping. All right, and there's our finished product. We have a 
Daddy Cupcake today. Thank you, happy Halloween. Wow, those batty cupcakes were good. I'm really feeling this Halloween spirit. Me too, Sabir. Those were tasty. But I think we're missing one of the most important aspects of Halloween. What's that, Swatha? Carving pumpkins! Let's catch up with Kendall, who's at the first annual BBTV pumpkin carving competition. Hey guys, it's Kendall, and we're here at the very first annual BVTV Pumpkin Carving Competition. Behind me is six competitors who are about to carve the pumpkins of their lives. How this competition works? There'll be two teams, a boy team and a girl team. Once the whistle is blown, they'll each race for the pumpkin that they truly desire and start carving their little hearts out on these pumpkins. All right, let's go ahead and get it started. The minutes are ticking away at this intense carving competition. I'm here now with Parker, our head judge, who's been monitoring this competition hardcore. So, Parker, hey. tell us, how do you think this competition's going so far? Uh, I think it's going good, except for, uh, you know, she just threw some bits of a pumpkin at me, which is definitely going to, you know, take off from her points. <laughs> All right, who's it gonna be? Girls team or boys team? Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? All right, we're gonna have our Judge Parker go around and judge each pumpkin for points. All right, the time has come and the winning team has been chosen. Parker, what do you think? It was a very, very tough race. You know, we had some, some great pumpkins on each side, and uh, but it's gonna have to go to the girls team. Yay, girls! Good job! All right, girls, we do have some awesome prizes for you girls. So are you ready? ready. Yeah! Yeah, ready? Yeah. All ready? Yeah. All right, coming your way. Your very own trick-or-treat baskets. Yeah. Trick-or-treat baskets. Yeah. Okay, now, within this girls team, we do have one individual winner. Parker? This, is what, this was another very close race, but I'm going to have to give it to the, uh, the BVTV pumpkin. All right, what an exciting day today we had at the very first annual BVTV Pumpkin Carving Competition. Back to you. Staying safe on Halloween is very important. But Kendi and her little friends got themselves into a gooey situation. learn to never go to a dark house on Halloween. You're right, Sabir. Here's Dan McCauley with some very important safety tips. Oh, hey. Didn't see you there. I 
I'm Dan McCauley, and I'm here to show you the five rules to keep you safe on Halloween. First up, we have don't talk to strangers. Hey, little girl. Psst. Little girl, come here for a second. Talk to me. Who? Me? Yeah, you little girl. I got some candy for you. <laughs> Whoa! I will never talk to strangers again! Next up, always carry your phone and your flashlight. The microphone's in the studio. Ooh, it's pretty dark in there. Eh, I'll be fine. Boy, I wish I brought my flashlight. Where's the, ow, ah, ah! I'm never gonna leave my phone slash flashlight at home again. Want to see what happens when you don't wear a safe costume? They're hair treating! Trick or treat! <laughs> Always carry your safety whistle. Hey, buddy! Come here for a sec. I gotta talk to you. Wanna take a ride in my car? Check out that handy dandy safety whistle. You never know what people put in their candy these days. Son, what are you doing? I'm just looking through my candy, Daddy. No! Let me show you some real candy, son. Here you go, boy. Thanks, Daddy. Have a safe Halloween, guys. Wow, I learned so much. Yeah, Dan was very informative. Now let's kick it over for Parker with sports. Thanks, guys. We're very happy to say that the Blue Valley North girls golf team has won the 6A state championship. Let's go to Brandy Samuel, who's there with them live. Hey, guys. I'm here with three-time state champ Blue Valley North girls golf team. So what were some of the challenges that the team faced in trying to defend their um, state titles? Well, we played Garden City was one of our Com what is was our competition and so we lost to them at one of the tournaments but at state we beat them so it was good and how has the team bonded this year this year we've grown a lot closer we've had more team dinners and even team sleepovers and we I think that made us a better team because we've all come closer and played as a team and can you talk about EKL for us Okay, so our first leg of EKL <laughs> was at Leewood South, and um, we finished first. And then our second leg of EKL was at Albemarle, and we got second place to Garden City, but we also played really well. And our third leg of EKL was at Swope, and we finished with one stroke leading the race. And what was it like winning um, state three times in a row? Um, it was really exciting. It was like each year was a new experience and each year was like completely different. So by the third win, we were all really, really excited and it was really fun. And can you kind of explain to us how the state conditions were? Conditions were really bad. It was really windy and rainy and there were really brutal t pin placements, but we did it, we did it well because we won, so. And can you kind of tell us um, as a big senior what your individual experience was like this year? Um, well, it, I had high expectations for myself because last year I won state individually, and this year I ended up coming in third, but I was still proud of myself. So. Congratulations to the Blue Valley North girls golf team as well as Coach Odell for another great season. Now back to Parker in the studio. Congratulations, girls. Tomorrow is state volleyball. 
We wish both Blue Valley West and Blue Valley North luck as they compete for the state titles. Now let's go over to football. These are the records for the five Blue Valley schools. Blue Valley North, West, and Northwest will not make the playoffs. Blue Valley Southwest is 2-0, and they face Bishop Ward at home tonight. Blue Valley versus Gardner at home, and they must win by 10 points in order to make the playoffs. Good luck to all the football teams tonight. Well, that's it for sports. I'm Parker Lewis. Back to you guys. Well, that's our show today. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm Swetha Gandhi. And I'm Sabira Rayford. And we wish you a safe and spooktacular Halloween. Boo! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>